Hello Kitty designers and welcome on today's story. My name is Peter. And on today's story, we're just going to see how we can be able to add verification for the login. How it's gonna work is whenever you just click on this button for login, a window is pop up, and all you just need to do is you add our the user will have to add the email you are using. Let me just try to add one here. And with that, on click on next, OTP will be sent. You see the user that they doesn't exist. So let me try to use the one that always that exists and just that all you just need to do on click on next button and otp or verification link or verification code has been sent to our email all we just need to do is we need to check on our email here we have it and uh, we have received the requested otp so we just have to copy this otp code here and on copy on it we just paste it here and we submit and after successful login we are just going to be directed to that page that we have did set our well, user will be directed to that page that's the story for today and without further ado let's just get into action and i show you how so the first thing we just need to do we need to get the dashboard and on the dashboard menu, scroll now to where we have the plugin on Hofa. We have these three options. Select the second option. Now we need to search for the plugin that we are going to use. The plugin is called OTP login. There are so many options. There's so many options that are available, but the one is just going to use called OTP login is from WP Expert team. You can see it only have 20, 20 installation. <laughs> Yeah, it's only 20 installation. No, not yet deleted, but it was just updated one month ago. So we installed the plugin. It's a new plugin, but it works, uh, it's working very amazing. It works very well for us. After successful now installation, we activate the plugin. So now we have been able to set up uh, to install it. So what we just need to do on the installed plugin, now we have this OTP login, select button for setting or else you can just go to the dashboard menu and on setting now we have the otp logins here also the first thing you just need to do is we activate the uh, the login and from there you just need to set up where you just want once you just have a successful login where now do you, where will you be directed or where will the user be directed to so i just want it to be directed to my account so i just copy this link here for my account and i come and paste it here and i save the changes now from there there's one thing i just wanted to note and i just wanted to copy this one here i could it on i put it on the description just copy it and now we go to appearance and go to menu we need to add it here on the menu section so here we have we're going to add it as a custom link so i just uh, click on custom link and on the url uh, section i add hash and here on the link text i add login like that and i add it to the menu now we have added it here so what next the next thing you just need to do click on this one here and you just need to add a css class so what you just need to do just open here on screen option there's so many features that are going to be available here so i just want to only add css class here and just that i just cross here and with you now now we have the css class here so i add the one code we copied the css class we copied we just add it here and after that we save the changes with that let's now see whatever we have just added so just no i just copy this one and i open this one in an incognito window or a private window i paste it here i need and uh, you see now we have been directed to the admin page so i wanted to be direct to the home page here i have this button for login i click on it and this page uh this uh this window will pop up and all you just need to do is i add my email just that i click next it just takes some few seconds and the otp will be sent on your email so i just need to open my email so the new otp you have just requested is here it has just a live so i just copy here and i paste it here and i submit the otp and you can see this uh we have a log a successful login that's how you can add an email OTP on your website, WordPress website or for free. We have just used the free plugin 
just so easy to set up and i hope you did learn something out of this tutorial if you did learn something out of this tutorial hit the thumbs up if you're new here consider subscribing the next tutorial that i'm going to focus on is about how to customize your login uh, your login link and the, the way you're going to improve the security for your website on how you can prevent from brutal attacks from uh, hackers thank you for being here till next time thank you